unclaimed baggage is the nation's only retailer of lost luggage and attracts over 1 million tourists annually. From its inception, unclaimed baggage quickly became a word of mouth hit, drawing shoppers looking for great deals on the contents of lost luggage. Sunny Hood with unclaimed baggage is here with us today. So please, Sunny, fill us in and um, I'm, I'm curious. This is, yeah. this is some cool stuff. So please fill us in. Thank, thank you, Malik, yeah. for having me and for the introduction. So like you said, we are the nation's only retailer of lost luggage. So what wow. that means is we have contracts with all major airlines. So if a bag has been lost for at least 90 days after okay. an extensive baggage tracing process, then the traveler will be compensated and then that bag is officially deemed a salvage. Ooh. So we then purchase those orphan suitcases sight unseen and they come to our facilities in Alabama where our team then mines through the contents to find <laughs> treasures, if Literally. you will. Um, and so about a third of everything we receive is sold, a third is recycled, and a third is donated. But would you like to see how we would go through an unopened suitcase like we do behind the scenes? Let's go through it, Sunny. So this is something we do every single day in our retail store in Scottsboro. Okay. So it's called the Unclaimed Baggage Experience. So many people say they would love the opportunity to go through an unopened bag, right? right. And so we have created this experience to give that to them. Wow. So, so I'll t let you take the lead. Okay. So we have what here? A teddy bear. So we have a little teddy. Nice. This so, looks very valuable, honestly. So we always say every bag tells a story. So when oh. you first open a bag, you know, it already says so much about that person. Were they right. going to their destination? Were they coming from? This person probably had children. Um, but yeah, so we'll just go through this bag nice and I Calvin can kind of, Klein hat. all right, we got some name brands Someone in there. Someone has an iPhone, great choice there, yeah. We receive a lot of electronics. We got some uh, glasses here, oh, Versace, Jesus Christ. Okay, oh, wow. so that's one thing that separates us from a typical thrift store is that we have the high-end name brand items wow. like the Versace and the Gucci and the Prada and the Louis Vuitton. So 90 um, days, it's all you guys. Is. That's right, after wow. 90 days. So I know you guys have some more stuff going on here. So what is the 50, uh, 50 years, 50 states? What is that? Yeah, so we just celebrated an incredible milestone, 50 okay. years of unclaimed baggage. So in celebration, we are going on a 50 state road tour to Ooh. share the unclaimed baggage story and nice. the unclaimed baggage experience with guests all across the country. Okay, um, nice. So that is, that's what brings us to St. Louis here today. Nice, and I know you guys have the Angels in Arms Love Luggage Charity event going on. So can you fill us in on that as well? Yes. So like I said, we donate about a third of everything we receive. So we've actually developed a program called Love Luggage, okay. where we paint suitcases and then we donate them to foster children to replace the trash bags that they so often have to carry oh. um, their belongings in. So we're going to meet up with Angel's Arms here locally to give nice. them a Love Luggage donation. And I will say that is a huge steal because these things are not cheap. That's true. Luggage is not cheap. And that is very it true. Is one of the, the, I, I just don't understand. It's like when you get that one good luggage bag, I'm like keep it forever, take care of it because I don't know if you want to drop another 200, 300 bucks for right. uh, just one sometimes, right. um, not even the whole set. Um, and so uh, Reclaim for Good Foundation, can you talk about that as well? Sure, so Reclaim for Good is our charitable foundation okay. of unclaimed baggage. Um, that's where the majority of our donations happen. So we have Love Luggage, we're the top provider of prescription eyeglasses to the Lions Club where they're okay. distributed globally. Nice. We donate medical supplies and wheelchairs to um, different oh. organizations. So any way that we can repurpose these items and give back and keep them out of a landfill, we certainly want to do that. Definitely, and I know you guys said your home base is in Alabama. That's right. Um, um, can you talk about you guys plan to expand it all or will this kind of tour just be what you guys do? So our one brick and mortar location is in Scottsboro, Alabama, where mm -hmm. we've been for 52 years. However, 52. Wow. we launched an online store two yep. years ago so you can shop unclaimedbaggage.com from anywhere in the U.S. Wow, wow, wow. I love that. So guys, all the... All the information that you're going to need is right there on your screen. And uh, once you screenshot that, we still have a little bit more we want to get into. So I know we have, um, this is kind of creepy. I love snakes, but I don't play with venomous <laughs> snakes. Uh, we have what here, a rattlesnake. We have an alligator head. Yeah. And we, is this wearable? So, sh I mean, I've never tried, but you are certainly welcome. Ooh. I think it's you. 
I think, do you want to, do you want to buy that? I do, listen. <laughs> you so, guys take uh, Venmo, Cash App. <laughs> so this is our mobile museum that we're taking on the road with us because in over half a century, we have found some crazy things in people's lost luggage, including a live rattlesnake. So we did find a, a live, li Whoa, we what? found a live rattlesnake in the side of a duffel bag. Are you kidding? We have found real shrunken heads, full suits of armor, vacuum packed frogs, um, all kinds of things. And there's a lot more where this came from in our physical location in Scottsboro. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Okay, can I pick this up really quick? You can. You guys fat, so was this was real? So he was, he was alive, yes. Oh. He was in the inside pocket of a duffel bag. <sighs> So we think maybe, you know, during that 90 day waiting period, he just, he, got out. he slithered inside or I don't, maybe someone was traveling with him, but we, we found him and we, we reclaimed him. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I'm a little spooked out. Um, <laughs> that is a job of its own. I am like commending you guys because <laughs> if, if that popped out, I would quit right then and there. Um, how do you guys go about being safe when you guys, um, you know, go through these bags? Yeah, so we have a team of bag openers. That's okay. their job title, and they represent decades of experience um, handling these bags. And, you know, a lot of people expect to come to unclaimed baggage and to be able to dig through the suitcases. But this is why we go through it first. You know, we want to make sure we take out anything harmful, dangerous, <laughs> or overly embarrassing inside. Right, right, um, right, because right. people travel with all sorts they of do. things. And there's a ton of, um, I feel like, things that people feel safe when they're traveling with, even if it's embarrassing and whatnot. And so, um, so yeah, that's, that's super, that's crazy. But so these heads here, th this was found in there as well. Do you guys know what these symbolize at all? Or so these are like replica shrunken heads. Okay. Um, we have found real ones before. The real one we found was actually kind of adorned on the top of a medicine man stick. Um, and that was, that was donated. So if we find something, you know, that's just really special, we're not going to send that to the sales floor. We're going to honor it by putting it in a museum, whether it's ours or someone else's. What in the world? They're going crazy right here right now. They're like, oh my God, all this stuff is so crazy. <laughs> um, and then you got that. Was this real in the... No, so we found we find a lot of taxidermy okay. um, items, so that is how he arrived to us. Wow, imagine this thing just chomping your arm off. Yeah, Holy I don't cow, think I want to. Like digging through the bag, and this thing <laughs> just goes for it. But I think this right here is my favorite so far. Yeah. Um, out of all things, uh, what has been, I guess, your favorite that you've heard of or found? Let's see. So one thing that stands out, the most expensive thing we have ever sold was in 2014, and it was a men's platinum presidential Rolex watch. It Ooh. retailed for $64,000, $64. and we sold it for $32,000. Oh, so to a pretty happy watch collector um, in 2014. So all of our items are priced up to 80% off suggested retail, and our fine jewelry is priced at half off of appraisal value. So you're always going to find a bargain, and you wow. never know what you're going to find. And how big is you guys? I'm, not, I'm really going to have to, you guys too are going to have to take a trip down to Alabama. <laughs> um, I hear that Mobile is very nice. How, mm -hmm. cl how close are you guys to Mobile? So we're still, we're in the top northeast gotcha. corner. So Mobile so is down there. So close to us then. Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> yep, so we're close you know. to Huntsville. We're really close to the Tennessee border. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, I got to get down there. You guys at home need to get down there. You can see cool stuff like this. You can uh, get nice snakes if you're into snakes and <laughs> uh, small heads cowboy hats whatever you're looking for fifty thousand dollar rolex is holy cow but <laughs> all the information that, again that you're going to need is right there on your screen screenshot that this is really cool we thank you so much for coming in here sunny and uh showcasing unclaimed baggage that is really cool thanks for having me that is super cool thank you so much so